Now we're going to spend a few minutes uh, going over the actual procedure of intubation. Uh, we're going to use a mannequin so that we don't have to worry about how the patient's actually doing and we can focus on the, the individual steps of, of intubation. We need to have the patient in the proper position, the so-called sniff position. Um, this is named for the simple reason that it corresponds to the position you might take of sniffing a, a bouquet of flowers in front of you. Flexion of the cervical spine in the lower part, extension of the head upon the cervical spine. We accomplish this by placing a pillow behind the patient's head, and we'll look at that in a moment. Um, once we're in the sniff position, what we're going to do is gently extend the head further, and most typically, the mouth will open in the unconscious patient. If not, we'll use a scissors uh, maneuver. And this is simply done by taking the right hand, crossing the thumb over the finger, inserting into the mouth, and obviously gloved hand in the, in the actual patient applying force, and you can see how easily I can open the mouth uh, with minimal effort. Um, what I would recommend to you if you use this procedure is to be certain that you insert the blade as far to the right as possible. You can see how I'm having to go almost midline if I'm not careful here, that you go down the right side as always. I, if I were doing this, I would simply insert the blade a short distance, now come back, extend the head, and I'm going to uh, advance the blade to the point where I can see the epiglottis. Once I visualize the epiglottis, I then lift with a vector of force that is not rocking back. This is a great way to break the teeth by rocking back. Rather, the direction of force will be towards the intersection of the, the wall and ceiling of the room at the feet of the patient. So in a direction about so. This allows me to displace the tongue and soft tissue into the mandible, mandibular space and achieve a direct line of visualization to the cords. So I visualize the epiglottis with a Miller blade. I pick up the tip, visualize the cords, bring the tube in from the side, and intubate the patient. So just to, to recap, we're talking about here the unconscious patient, routine intubation, um, elective situation. Uh, each, of the, each of the steps, proper positioning, opening of the mouth, either with extension and or scissors uh, maneuver, placement of the blade in the right side of the mouth, identification of the epiglottis, gentle lifting of the epiglottis, either directly with the Miller blade or indirectly with Macintosh blade, identification of the cords, and passing of the endotracheal tube from the side so as not to obstruct your view.